So one of the fun things that you can do with Mozilla Hubs is to import your own content in the virtual environments that you're sharing with others. So content that you can import is, for instance, images or uh, videos, audio files, but also 3D models. And then there are a couple of other interesting features. So in this video, I'm going to discuss these. So when you're in a Mozilla Hubs room, you will notice that at the bottom of the screen, uh, you have a menu bar with the place button in the center. So when you click on it, you have uh, five different options and I'm quickly going to discuss all of these. Um, so the first one, pen, that uh, basically allows you to make graffiti all over the place. Um, when you activate it, your cursor turns into a colored beam and you can start writing. Uh, on anything um, to change the color of the col uh, of your pen you hit shift E and then it switches to another color shift E again yet another color so you can also change the size of your pen by holding shift and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse scrolling down makes it bigger as you can see for uh, thicker writing Ctrl Z also deletes it then for the next one uh, we can deactivate pen uh, the next one is camera also a fun thing that you can do it doesn't have really uh, other value than just for fun um, it allows you to make selfies so it creates a camera object like this one you can click on it and hold your mouse to kind of drag it around uh, use the scroll wheel to kind of move it away from you or closer uh, and then hit photo or video and it will start to count down and it creates a selfie a nice memory of your visit to this virtual place you can make group selfies also uh, it creates a uh, another object an image uh, that you can also uh, click and then drag around uh, move closer to you or further away uh, from you and in the chat uh, the file, the image file that was just created by making the selfie is also added so you can easily uh, yeah, save it as a image on your hard drive. Um, then there are a couple of others I'm not going to discuss in detail. Avatar basically allows you to place an avatar in the virtual environment to see it and then uh, you can choose to select it and become it. Um, the scene one is interesting because it allows you to switch scenes for instance if you created multiple scenes uh, and you want users to kind of uh, see alternative worlds that you created and discuss those you can use the scene one and the last one uh, is the most useful and interesting and that's uh, the upload one because it allows you to upload any of your own files so if you click it, it will tell you what type of files it accepts. Uh, so GLB is, uh, these are 3D models. So if you want to upload a 3D model, it has to be in GLB format. If you upload an image, it has to be in PNG, JPEG or GIF format. If you want to upload a video, it has to be in MP4 format. And if you want to upload a audio file, it has to be in MP3 file. So how does it work? You can, uh, of course, download any 3D model or image uh, from the internet. You can also directly link it by copy pasting the URL to the file. So you can also uh, download it to your hard drive and then upload it uh, into Mozilla Hubs. So you can click here and it uh, allows you to go to your hard drive and uh, select any uh, object. Um, so, for instance, uh, this is a video file. I can open it, create object, and then it will start to upload this video object. And some other features in As you can see, so enjoy it created a video of me doing an introduction to Mozilla Hubs. Uh, like the other objects, you can click it and drag it around, move it away from you and closer uh, and in this case it has additional um, controls like uh, play uh, putting the audio volume up or down and there's an edit uh, functionality 
um, 3D model uh, works basically the same way. So this is a GOB file of another house reconstruction that we did in the past. It may take a while to load these models. Well, there it is already. I can grab it. I can get it closer to me. And now I can walk around this 3D model. For the demonstration of the image import I'm going to go to this corner of the street and I'm going to import an image of the same street corner but then in 1940. So I'm going to back to place, upload, going to the image and it will import it right away. I can move it a little bit closer to me to make it match a little bit better with my view position. Uh, however, you also might want to enlarge or to rotate this object in order to make it match better with your view position uh, in the 3D environment. So how to do this? Well, any of the objects, including the 3D models, uh, the videos and uh, yeah, the images, um, when you hover over them, you can hold spacebar and you see a menu. If you release spacebar, the menu disappears. So hold spacebar and then there is this uh, cross icon and you can drag it to make it larger or smaller. What you can also do is to rotate it uh, and this allows you to kind of get a little bit better perspective for instance on this photograph. I make it a little bit larger. Yeah. So now we're back at the uh, 3D model. So when you, for instance, want to scale up the 3D model up to a one to one scale, which is a little bit hard because there's no accurate scaling tool available in Mozilla Hubs. Still, you can uh, sort of approximately scale up uh, models like this as large uh, as you want. Um, so this works the same way as with the image you hold spacebar while you are hovering over the image and then you start to enlarge it and you have to do this a couple of times before it gets big enough you may have to go backwards to do this and then you also want to rotate it to get it straightened up rotation is not very easy uh, to be honest, it's not a very accurate tool to get something straight. It's it's pretty hard. What you can do, however, is to drop things to the ground. So again, hover and then use this uh, space bar and use this button. And things drop right to the ground and they are automatically straightened. However, if you have an object up in the air and it is yeah rotated like this for instance and then you choose to drop it down to the ground it mm, yes may fall on its side so you have to get it pretty straight in order to drop to the ground and stay uh, upright so back at the corner of the street with the historical image placed over the 3d model so one very important thing to realize is that imported content does not permanently stay in the virtual environment by default. The next time you will visit this, all the images and 3D models and audio files and writing has disappeared. Uh, so to make sure that it does stay there, so you can visit it with a new group of people, you can return to what you have uh, on the work that you've done, is to make sure that you pin these items. So how do you pin items? Well, you hover over uh, the image or 3D model or even the writing that you placed, you hold spacebar and you click pin. An object that is pinned will stay there forever. It can be deleted by others unless you unpin it again. 
with any of the objects uh, you can also check the status uh, or inspect them by right clicking on them so right clicking allows you to isolate an object a video an image or a 3d model like this uh, and here you can also see whether an object is pinned or not so for instance this object is not pinned uh, and I can pin it over here as well uh, and as you can see if it is pinned the delete button is grayed out so it cannot be deleted you can unpin it and then delete it however everybody can do this so also uh, others that visit uh, the same environment can unpin your object and then delete it so it's not entirely uh, secured from any type of vandalism by your colleagues so this was all uh, instructions on placing objects in Mozilla Hubs. Enjoy!